What is going on, y'all? And welcome back to SnowRunner. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at what is most likely the cutest vehicle to ever be included in this game. This is the Z2 Vintage Tractor PZ-13. Now, it is it starts life as essentially like this is how it comes straight out of the garage. This is a completely stock build. Now, this is compatible with Season 8. It's compatible with farming attachments. You can do all the farming that you might want to do with this thing, or you can use it as a recovery vehicle. You can use it as, I mean, I guess if you wanted to use it as a scout, the potential for it is kind of there. Uh, it's not necessarily what I would recommend as a scout, but without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it, or rather jump onto it and see what this thing is like to drive and also what kind of customization features it has. But before we go any further, let's fire it up. It fires up really, really quick. Dude! Oh, they set up the interior view so well, or rather the first person view. It literally looks like you are sitting directly on the tractor. Oh my god, though, like, you cannot see that. It, well, you can kind of see once it gets going, but like, the smoke is legitimately going directly in your face when you're driving straight ahead. That is hilarious. All right, let's get it into the garage. And now that we've got it in the garage, let's mess with the engines a little bit. Yo, we've got, like, a lot of options here. So there's the A12-780, the A12-850 TTA, which is already, like, really, really powerful. I mean, the standard engine already has this thing in an S+. Plus. Then there's the Westline V12 M900, which is even more powerful. Then there's Z2 Tractor Engine 1 and Z2 Tractor Engine 2. I think you guys can probably figure out which one we're going to go with. Z2 Tractor Engine 2 is the way. So now that we've got Z2 Tractor Engine 2, I'm, I'm going to end up just calling it the Max Engine because Z2 Tractor Engine 2 gets a little repetitive to say after a while. So let's go ahead and throw the Advanced Special Gearbox in it. And then suspension-wise, we actually have a raised suspension option. So if you do want to go that route, the option is there. And you start off with a set of 37-inch tires, but there are also... Wait, let's see. So does this actually... Oh! Interesting. So the actual 3D model of the tire doesn't change, but I'm assuming the actual, like, uh, kind of grip values of everything does change. So let's see. They're all 37s. Or, if you want, you can go up to a dually setup if you would prefer. So, let's see. I'm going to go with the... So, okay. So, those that one's average and then excellent on ice. This one is body 3.0, asphalt 2.0, substance 3.0. This one is going to be the best traction, or rather, this set. 7.5, 7.0, and 7.5 all across the board. So now, winch-wise, we're going to go with the Z2 tractor winch. You've got a standard version and a uh, console controller optimized version. And then let's see. We got some snorkel options here as well. I really like this one because it's like, it's not that like over the top. It's just like, it looks like it was supposed to be there. It looks OEM. Now, frame add-ons wise, we have, let's see, additional fuel tanks. We've got, whoa, that's neat. So it's got an actual roll bar up there. We'll throw that on there. You could do a dedicated crane. Are you kidding me? What? Yo, that is... It can grab one log at a time. That is amazing. You can put a toolbox up there. You can put a toolbox on the other side. Extra fuel tanks on one side or the other. I tell you what. Tools on one side, fuel on the other. Now, exhaust-wise, you've got the stock. You have a slant cut, and then you have a Z2 exhaust, which, let's see, cuts black smoke with a special filter. Oh, okay. So if you want to drive this thing in first person, and you don't necessarily want to be seeing the smoke all the time, the Z2 exhaust is definitely the way to go. I'm going to do the slant cut, personally. Now, rear add-on-wise, we got a rear light. And then let's see, we got an emblem up front, we've got a license plate, which I guess if you wanted to drive this thing on the road, you've got some front weights that you can use as well, front and rear weights actually. Now, the rear weights I assume you would only really, oh god, I assume you would only really use them if you were running the crane and you needed the extra weight at the front. I think what I'll do is I'll do an additional 2,000 up front, and that should be about like standard to kind of level out the tractor. Now, front bumper, oh, interesting, huh. Now, you do have a couple of different... Whoa! You have, actually, a pretty good selection of different wheels, too. I really dig that. We'll go with the black wheels for now, because that really allows us to run whatever color we want on the tractor, and it's really no big deal. You've got, actually... 
not only a full range of colors, but you also have some different accent colors down by the logo on the hood as well. So let's go through this list of colors. We've actually got a really wide range, a lot more than I would have expected for a tractor. Like that is a really good amount of customization in terms of colors, not just colors, but like customization in general for a tractor. So now let's fire this thing up and see what it's like to drive. It's pretty quick with that Z2 tractor engine. Yo, it is not slow. Can you imagine farming with this? This would be absolutely brilliant. Oh my god. Don't mind the uh, the F-250 with the trailer behind it right there. I was assuming this thing would be slow, and so I put together a tow rig and trailer for it, and I, uh, I ended up getting it out here and realizing very quickly that this was not going to be slow. Not in the least bit. Now, let's do a little bit of a performance test on this thing. We're actually going to head into the swamp down here on the left. Oh, easy. We almost tested out that roll bar, which is not what I wanted to do. Keep that in mind. I was like, no, I would rather not test out the roll bar. At least not right off the bat. All right. Yeet. All right, let's throw it into high. And wow, high is not fast. Oh, my God. That weight at the front pulled it straight down. Uh... Um, um, what? What? Keep in mind, we are on the OP tire setup, of course, but, like, even so, this is an animal. Look at that. That is nuts. That's actually legit gnarly. Like, you could use this to freaking recover vehicles and then go back home, hook up your farming equipment, and plow your fields with it. That is insanity. All right, now I might need a little bit of rear weight to balance out that front weight because this level of front weight is actually a good chunk. It's a lot more than I thought it was going to be, and it makes a lot bigger of a difference than I thought it was going to make. Now let's see how these dualies help with stability on some slightly tilty sections. Easy, not bad. Not bad. I'm about it. Dude, this is insane. Like, I was not expecting this level of off-road capability in the slightest. Not even remotely in the slightest. Let's go back into auto mode. And God, the way it bounces on the front axle, that is just like not... I feel like that's not normal. I feel like we need some weight at the back to balance it out. I really do, because this is driving really weird right now. Either that or we need to take it off. Hold on, let's see. Uh, Where's the weight? Weight front and... All right, so if we take the front weight off, how does it drive? Probably drives a whole lot more evenly, and it also probably doesn't dive the entire front axle when you, uh, like, basically when you drive off of anything. Oh my god. See, now it's got a little bit of an issue keeping the front end down, and I'm like, I wish there was, like, an element of weight that was somewhere in the middle, but... Alright, go. Ooh, it almost did a backflip. Oh my god. It, it's actually pretty good at staying level in the air, but, like, be careful whenever you're going up hills if you don't have any front weight. That is what the front weight is good for on this thing, going up hills. Because if you go up hills without it, I've just now discovered, it doesn't work very well in the slightest. Now, as far as mud itself goes, I know we went through the swamp earlier and it monstered that. But what about, like, just standard mud? Um, it speeds up. What? It speeds up! That is ridiculous. What about the pond? Is it going to make short work of the pond, or is the pond going to swamp it out? Uh, well, for one, it... Oh, the, the little intake is above the water. Look at this! <laughs> Dude! And it wheelies out of the pond. I'm All right. All right. This thing wins, dude. This thing absolutely wins. It wins so hard. This is amazing. This is absolutely freaking amazing. I tell you what, what we're going to do is we're probably going to, we're probably going to end up putting this thing not only into the vehicle fleet for farming, but we're going to have it in the vehicle fleet for just whatever we might need. I could see this thing rescuing giant semi-trucks from rivers with how much grip it has. Now the dips obstacle uh, is going to make it backflip. I bet you. I bet you the dips obstacles gonna make it backflip. What is this like in first person? Also, I know we have. Oh god! Oh, that wheelie is terrifying. What does the horn sound like? Oh, 
I mean, it, it's fine. I was expecting it to be something really hilarious, but, like, it's not quite as hilarious as I thought it was going to be. What happens if I just stay on the throttle? I mean, it's just going to bounce its way through. There's really... Oh, oh! It, I, oh my god, that is... I expected it to stall out on that one. I really did. I did not... It, oh, and... Well, that went well. And fire it back up. <laughs> I love how it's so simple. Like, you could literally just tip it back over and fire it back up. Pull that back down. Oh my god, pull that front end back down. Like, dude, I am not even remotely interested in having that thing just sitting up in the air like that. Oh, oh, pull. There we go. All right. Not bad. And, oh, jeez. I'm like, full send, maybe? Full send, sort of, kind of? Really, really hoping for some kind of full send at this point? God, this thing is hilarious. It is hilarious in every possible way. Like, I don't know if you could make this thing any more hilarious if you tried. And now, I'm sure there's also going to be people that are going to say, well, it's not balanced and it doesn't need to be that fast, it doesn't need to be that powerful, it doesn't need to be that grippy. That's fine. I've got it set up in an OP spec, but you can literally take it right back to the garage and put all the vanilla spec parts on it, and it would be just like a vanilla tractor. Like, you could totally set it up for vanilla game balance and have no issue with that at all. I honestly just find this particular type of build a little bit more fun. Actually, a lot a bit more fun. All right, come on. Now, once we get up to the top of the hill, I'm going to throw this thing into neutral and hit the bridge jump with it. And we're going to have to stay in first person for this. So, oh, I'm really hoping that my, uh, that my dualies don't catch on the edge of the bridge. Come on, gravity. Come on, gravity. Go, 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 go. Oh, that front end's getting light. That front end's getting real light. Send it! Oh my god! And we're fine! After a little bit of a corkscrew, we've returned to our wheels and wheelied out of the swamp that we ended up flipping in. If that's not the proof, then I don't know what is. But if you guys enjoyed this video in SnowRunner, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time.